Hi, Mom. Good morning, Christy. What's so good about it? Well, the sun came out and... No, it's not. It's raining. Yes, but it'll only be raining for a little while. But whatever. The rain matches my mood. Is there something bothering you, Christy? I just want today to be done and over with. Well, you had a luck on that one because... The day just started. Don't remind me. Here, sit down. I made your favorite smoothie. Thanks. But I don't want it. What do you mean you don't want it? You love the strawberry smoothies I make for you every Sunday. I just don't want it, okay? I'm not in the mood to drink a smoothie. What's wrong, Christy? Why are you in such a bad mood? Because, forget it, you won't understand. Where are you going? To my room. Christy. Okay, looks like I'm going to need some help with this. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Emily's mother? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Mrs. Uh, Thomas, Christie's mother. Yes. Um, do you think you can invite Emily? Do you think we could invite Emily over to spend the day with us? Maybe we'll cheer Christie up. What's wrong with Christie? I don't know, but maybe Emily can help me find out. Sure, I would love for Emily to come over. It's raining and she's bored too. I'll bring her right over. Thank you, Mrs. Bennett. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Hi. I hope Emily will be able to figure it out. Ding dong. Well, that was fast. Come on in. Hi, Mrs. Thomas. Oh, hi, Emily. Is Christy? Yeah, she's in her room. Do you have any idea what's bothering her? I think I have a slight idea what's bothering her, but I don't want to say anything until I know for sure. Okay, um, if Christy ever cheers up, maybe we, you could spend the day here. I'd like that. Great. I hope you could straighten her out. Hey, we're best friends. I could straighten anybody out. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. You're welcome. If you need anything, let me know. I will. And hey, hey Emily, your mom sent your mom invited me over. Is that okay? Why wouldn't it be? You're my best friend. Of course, it's okay. So, do you want to go on YouTube and watch videos? I'm not really in the mood to do anything. Well, is something bothering you, Christy? Well, yeah. But I don't want to talk about it. But if you talk about it, it'll make you feel better. But it won't change anything. Okay. Just um, tell me what's bothering you. And I'll be there to support you. You really want to know? Of course I do. We're best friends and I want to be able to help you. But I can't help you if you don't tell me what's wrong. You sound like my mom. Well, it's time somebody did. Now what's bothering you? Today will be exactly one year since my father died. Oh. Really? Yeah. And I miss him. 
I noticed that you didn't have a dad, but I didn't want to ask you why not, because I was afraid you'd get upset. But what happened to him? That's the hardest part to talk about. But I'll talk, tell you. I used to play soccer. Oh, really? Were you good? I was very good. I was on the All-State team. That's awesome. I always dreamt of becoming a pro soccer player. Playing for the World Cup and everything. Okay, but what does it have to do with your dad? Well, on the day of my soccer tournament, he had to work. But I begged him to talk to his boss to let him leave early to get to my game because I really wanted him there. He always said he was proud of me because I played soccer. Okay, so what happened? Well, he convinced his boss to let him out early. But he was already late. And he... He what? <sighs> he was driving too fast. And a drunk driver hit him. And he died instantly. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Christy. But you shouldn't blame yourself. People keep telling me that, but I do blame myself. If I hadn't begged him to go to my game, none of this would have happened. Christy, it wasn't your fault. It was just something that happened. It was an accident. It was a drunk driver's fault, if anyone's fault. Yeah, well, the drunk driver only got 15 years of prison. He should be dead because of what he did to my father. Don't wish death on other people, even people who seemingly deserve to die. Don't, don't say that. Okay, well, I wish I died instead of my dad. Don't you say that either. You do not deserve to die. You're a wonderful girl, and you know that. Whatever. Whatever, I, I just miss him. I know you do. But it'll always be in your heart. How come your mom's not so upset? She has her feelings very well. She probably was afraid to show her feelings in front of me because she was afraid I would be upset. But I think she knows why I'm upset. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I lost my father too in a fire. So I could kind of understand what you're going through. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Christy. But let's have fun today. I want to. But why should I be having fun when my dad is dead? Your dad would want you to be happy. I know me and your mother want you to be happy. Come on, let's go on YouTube and... Have some fun. Okay. We'll find a funny video to watch. Okay. Watch. The, let's watch the nanny. You love watching the nanny. That always makes you laugh. Okay. <laughs> let's watch this one. Okay. <laughs> And, <laughs> well, this looks a lot better. I'm glad you're happier, Christy. Yeah, I decided to suck it up and, you know, have a good time with my friend. That's good. Um, Emily, do you think I could have a moment alone with my daughter? Sure. I'll see you later, Christy. Okay, see ya. Bye, Mrs. Thomas. Bye, Emily, and thank you. You're welcome. Um, thank you for inviting Emily over. It really helped. You're welcome. But the reason why I did is because I know it's been bothering you. It's bothering me, too. What? 
about your father's death a year ago. Yeah, that's what was bothering me. How come you don't seem upset about it? I am upset about it. But I try to keep busy. It's how I make it through the day. But dad was practically your best friend. You have to have some feelings. I do have feelings, honey. I miss him so much. But I know it hits you harder than it hits anybody else because you blame yourself for it. But honey, it wasn't your fault. It was that drunk driver's fault. I know. Emily told me the same thing. Yes, I kind of was hoping she would. She would. I'll tell you what. Why don't we cheer? Why don't we cheer both of us up and go out for ice cream? You never did drink your smoothie this morning, so why don't we go out and have the real thing? Okay. Then can we do something like go shopping or something? Anything you want. We'll make the stay a good one. Your father wouldn't want us to be sad. Okay. And if you want, we can catch up to Emily and she can come too. Great. Okay. I'll meet you out in the car. Be out there in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. I better call Emily before she gets home. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Emily. It's Christy. Did you reach home yet? Um, I'm halfway there. Why? Turn around and come back. Mom wants to take us out for ice cream. Really? Okay. I'll have to call my mom to let her know, but I'm sure I'll be okay. Great. So, I'll, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Bye.